Hi friends, I have Rosie Revere Engineer. So the character's name is Rosie Revere and she, what she does is she's an engineer, that's somebody who makes things or opens things up to look inside and fix them. And then this is a book cover and when you take it off, sometimes there's a different picture. Look how cool that is. And this is like another one of my books I've read called Ada Twist Scientist. I think that one's my favorite. Here's our title page. Rosie Revere, Engineer. By Andrea Beattie. So she wrote the words. And then the pictures are illustrated by David Roberts. This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. I hear rhyming words. I think she's right there. <laughs> this looks like Ada Twist's class. Oh, there she is. There's Ada Twist, I think. I barely see her. But when no, her, no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer's stash. So she was taking things from the trash, and she collected things, so that's her stash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the eaves. So she's using things from the trash. She's recycling. She's reusing. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. Can't even see her with all those cool things she's made. When Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye. And made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser, and helium pants. <laughs> now I say the word aunt like your aunt and uncle. I say aunt. But if I were to pronounce it like aunt, that would rhyme with pants. So ants and pants should rhyme, but I said it in a different way. So there's their helium pants. <laughs> the uncle she loved most was Zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head. From parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. Huh, that's something I learned. I didn't know that, ch that cheddar kept the pythons away. So she's making inventions. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slept his knee and he chuckled out loud. He laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. So perplexed means confused. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, I truly do. But Rosie Revere knew that could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat on the back of her shelf and after that day kept her dreams to herself. So she she got sad because her uncle, Uncle Fred the zookeeper, he laughed at her invention. So she got embarrassed. So she said, mm -mm, I'm not sure of these anymore. And she went to hide them. And maybe that's why she doesn't speak in class. And that's how it went until one autumn day, her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great-great aunt, or I say aunt, Rose, was a true dynamo who worked building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of things she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile as she looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly. 
but time never lingers as long as it seems. I'll chalk that one up to an old lady's dreams. So her great great aunt or aunt, that must be a picture of her making airplanes. But what she's saying is she, she still had one thing left to do on her to-do list. It was to fly. She's never flown before. That night as Rosie lay wide-eyed in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese hat and said, No, not I. But questions are tricky and some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. So this must be inventions that she keeps in her room. Ooh, I like her blankie. That's cute. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see. The ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. So she's saying her invention might turn out to be a flop. It might not work. It might fail. But she thought, hmm, I should check it, just in case. <laughs> Seems like that bird's in a lot of pages. Whoa. Strapped into the cockpit. That's where the, the pilot, the person that flies... The airplane of the helicopter, that's where they sit, the cockpit. She flipped on the switch. The helio cheese copter sputtered and twitched. It floated a moment and whirled round and round, then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. So I had to read those words weird because they, they twirl. They kind of move through the page. And I think that's to show how the, how the helicopter flew. And there's that bird. She's got a broom. Let's see, that kind of looks like an umbrella and a, a doll's foot. <laughs> She's got all sorts of things on there. So, but she used one of her old inventions, that, that cheese hat. And Rosie heard laughter and turned around to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who thought... Oh no, never, not ever again will I try to build something to sputter or spin or build with a lever, a switch, or a gear and never will I be a great engineer. Just because it didn't work the first time, does that mean she can't, she can't be a good engineer? That's kind of what being an engineer is all about. It's making something and then fixing it when you find problems in it. That's what we do, we're problem solvers, right? So just because it broke doesn't mean she failed. She can try again. She turned around to leave. Then great-great-aunt Rose grabbed hold of young Rosie and pulled her in close and hugged her and kissed her and started to cry. You did it, hooray. It's the perfect first try. This great flop is over. It's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled or confused, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie. It's just made of trash. Didn't you see it? The cheese copter crashed. Yes, said her great aunt. It crashed, that is true. But first it did just what it needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. <laughs> and there's the bird again. See, that's, that's the look when they said perplexed. That's what it looks like. She looks very confused, like, huh? Your brilliant first flap was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt as it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this one was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. So they're saying kind of what I said. Who cares that it didn't work perfectly the first time? You got to keep trying. That's the best part. They worked till the sun sneaked away to its bed. Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head. 
and sent it asleep with a smile ear to ear to dream the bold dreams of a great engineer. So that was Aunt Rose's headband she put it on, on Rosie's head. Looks like they're making a cool rainbow feather copter. I don't know. I can't wait to see this one. And it says, we can do it. Of course they can. They just have to try. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two build the gizmos and gadgets and do hickeys too. With each perfect failure, they all stand and cheer but none quite as proudly as Rosie Revere. Set saying, they make mistakes all the time, right? But they celebrate their mistakes. That means they're trying and they're learning. You can't learn if you don't make a mistake, right? I'm pretty sure that's Ada Twist from our Ada Twist scientist book. And there's a story about this character too. I am going to forget his name, but... I know there's a story about him, too. And that's the end. Look, looks like she got her aunt to fly. All she had to do was try. And that's the end.